All right. You have heard me say the waters of Nyunyu. What's all that? What if the same cosmic force that birthed galaxies lives inside you? Our ancestors called it sacred or holy. Maybe science now calls it quantum energy. Can you know and choose to tap into it or stay disconnected from it if the waters of Nyunyu are everywhere? Is it the kingdom of heaven within you? But it demands something. Welcome to Hamid Ibru Ethics. We invite you to enroll into our Bantu Melanin University where we study a lot of African metaphysics that changes our lives. You can use the email shown here as well as in the description to get in touch with us. Long before modern science named molecules or physicists spoke of quantum fields, the sages of Africa already understood a deeper truth. Everything begins in water. Not just water as liquid, but water as a mystery, as a womb, as origin, as pre-origin, and as possibilities. Water is the place where the boundaries between spirit and matter dissolve. Water is the eternal mother. Let's consider this issue and this topic of the waters of Nyunyu by looking at the agenda that includes the issue of what answers new, water is cosmic womb and ancestral bridge, water is not just element, it is a spirit in motion, quantum vacuum, African cosmologies, and then last but not least, steering inner potential to manifestation. You are a cosmic force. Let's understand these matters and they say across vastness of the african continent and the whole earth but specifically from the nile to the niger to the congo from lake victoria which is lake nyanza from the coastal shores to desert wells aquifers oasis african traditions have always spoken of the waters of Nyunyu, which they knew were older than the sky, older than sun, older than any god, older than humanity itself. These are not merely geographic waters or cosmic waters. They are beyond metaphysics. They are beyond anything that you can think of. But they are of the becoming, the waters of dreaming, the waters of the unseen depths. Waters of Nyunyu consist of all potential with and all possibilities quantum. It is important that we know what the ancestors said and they named these waters. In Chikaranga, and Shona, they are known as Mafashame Echa Zimira, the fog obscure unknowable waters from which life surges. In Cinderella, they are known as Amans Escalo, the waters of beginnings before names and their forms took a hold. In Yoruba, they are known as Omi Ipileae, the waters upon which the world was founded the base of existence itself. In the Igbo, they were known as Miridzu Iziz, the waters from which life itself was first drawn. In the Kiswahili, is Maji Yamganzo Giza, the waters that existed in the darkness before the light spoke its first word. In the Bambara, it is Jikira Bagan, 
the waters at the very start of all things. The silent blackness where creation gestates. The primordial waters, the cosmic potential waters, the cosmic potential realities, possibilities in the Akan, uh, the Twai, Ghana, and Ivory Coast, Nsu Tete Te Abode Nina Mu Ahodeb E Hoha Pra. Literally, the ocean waters is the inherent power within all creation. They focus on the inherent power latent within all things that came after. This is our animistic understanding. In the Malagasy, Madagascar is ni rano for totra hotoi nie herianzio rahetra izao voyatahiri the foundational water is the reserved power of the entire universe cosmic potential is seen as power held in reserve for creation in the swana meti apelela matia elegdimo Ahaha sa disra wang. In the Bambara, we've already looked at that. In the Shewa, is Mazi Oyambirira Angati Mpavu Ya Kumamba Yosakalidwa, the waters of the absolute beginnings and the uncreated powers. So in the Hamarik, in the Hausa, in the Ibo, in the Oromo, in the Fula, all have the language, the words that deal with the waters, primordial waters and the cosmic potential waters. Now, what we know is that when Europeans first arrived with their doctrines of linear history and material progress, they mistook our African understanding and stories about water and anything else as myth, primitive. Yet beneath these narratives is a profound ontology of emergency, a philosophy that understands reality as flowing in an interconnected and cyclical manner. In these traditions, water is not just substance, it is process, it is a system, it is something beyond even that system, it is something that is beyond the Big Bang, it is the medium through which spirit becomes flesh, spirit becomes matter, spirit becomes solid, spirit vanishes. Water in African cosmologies holds the following shared principle, primacy, potentiality, continuity, and transformation. The elders always taught us that the river will never forget its source, but maybe you have forgotten your source today. In the beginnings, of all things and prior to the beginnings of all things our ancestors spoke of water as the silent depths as the unseen currents as the womb becoming for generation these truths were carried in stories in narratives proverbs and sayings but today in the laboratories and observations physicists and cosmologists are arriving surprisingly at similar conclusions that our ancestors had already proposed they now speak of literal rivers of oceans of energy of waves in the quantum vacuum or in the zero point field an invisible ocean beneath all existence a sea of potentiality out of which particles forces and ever and energies arise and dissolve this quantum vacuum is not empty it is full of vibration, it is full of restlessness, it is alive with the seeds of reality. Where African thought is long or old, it's always said, all things begin in water. Quantum, now, quantum science now says all things arise from this field. So when we look at Afro sages as scientists now who looked into these matters we realized that they had a quantum vacuum understanding that they operated with afro sages were ahead of quantum science 
they already knew the quantum mechanics, but not with the terms and the words that are used today. Let's take an example of the African tribe of the Dogons. They had 256 primordial signs, Shana or Sines, which is a profound symbolic and structural resonance, which is similar to the string theories 256 dimensions often linked to the E-H lattice or gauge groups. The reference to 256 sacred glyphs and symbols, Shana, the foundational seeds of creation held by the normal amphibious beings from the waters, water-based reality, is so profoundly correct that there is a book that has been written to elaborate that, which we are showing here. Now, this resonance is not only coincidental. The sacred number 256, seen as a complete set, is found in both quantum science string theory as well as in our normal archetypes the quantum string theory says there are 16 by 16 dimensions of symmetry groups the dogons say there are eight times 32 ancestral normals that came from the waters who directs the directions of the soul the cosmic blueprint the idea in the quantum science is 256 dimensions in math and general particles and forces and space time the dogons have also the sana generates stars, plants, humans, and human consciousness. Primordial intelligence both imply a pre-ordered logic before creation. String maths, quantum fluctuations, obey 256 dimension symmetries. The normal divinities speak reality into being using 256 signs. There is the unity of applications that you can see. This is an example where the waters of Nyunyu are the same as the quantum vacuum or zero point field. In our book, Free From God, we deal with a tool that everyone has used and everyone might have had. It's a stuera, musika. The word kusika or musik means one who creates, the one who steers the waters of Nyunyu. Whether it is the frying your egg, whether it's frying your eggs, or cooking sadza, or pap, or nitsima, we are being introduced and reminded of how you can steer the waters of Nyunyu yourself. Consider this proper tool, and also think about other things that we can use. Libation. There is waters of Nyunyu. Yet libation is not a symbolic act, but a technology. It's not just a spiritual activity. You are actually steering your inner potential, the ancestors that are within you. And the other example is the observer and the an effect. Now, quantum physics teaches us about the observer effect that consciousness or any form of measurement affects the outcome of reality until observed a particle exists in a cloud of probabilities and possibilities. Observation brings it into form. And African tradition has already taught that. It says the observer whether it's you, you have the ancestor in, you have the spirit in, you have the potential in, you have the ritual in, inside you. Which means your reality is already inside you. The waters of you are already inside you, but they are abstract. You have to steer them. How do you steer them? By performing these rituals. So nothing exists independently. Our ancestors taught us. That's reality. I am because we are. And then when it comes to quantum science, it teaches us that we are because we are entangled in other words your ancestors are locked with you but they are entangled with you with many other realities so you have to separate them and you have to observe them so that they can come into reality so remember these ancient teachings and visions and stories are more than just narratives they are guides to help you access your creativity wisdom and calmness in this life everything we share in these videos is the tiniest of all that we can do we can share a lot of other material but for that to be practical and for that information to be beneficial to you you have to enroll into Bantu Melanin University and discover much 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 more deeper tourism in the creativity genius in the African spiritualities that include metaphysics alchemy 
Vodo, astrology, numerology, symbology, cosmology, and even calling upon the deities. You can enroll by sending us an email on Bantu Mellon University admissions at Proton uh, dot me showing shown here. So it is clear that African traditional spirituality parallels quantum physics. And we have already shown you how steering the waters of Nyunyu activates your lost code of creation. This year, we are, we are entering in 6262. It's called by the ancestors and the crowned by the gods. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, comment, and let us walk this journey together. I am your Hammer Ninja Tompi Priest Jara by LM Jaganja saying steering the waters of Nyunyu activates your lost code of creation. Amen. Amen. Amen Ra.